Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So as the title of this video would suggest, Super Mario Odyssey on Ryu Jinx, this Nintendo Switch emulator has made quite a bit of progress in the past few days. So not only is the game now booting into its menus with the utilization of a game save from a Nintendo Switch itself, it is also booting into gameplay using a PR that has yet to be merged to the master build of this emulator. So using a save, here's what happens when you boot it. Super Mario Odyssey! And there you go, as you can see we are successfully booted into the in-game menus of Super Mario Odyssey itself. Even though the shared fonts are currently implemented into Ryujinx, they currently do not render due to an unimplemented function. So in order to actually get into gameplay, we need to select the options menu, our data management, select our actual save file, and in this screen you can see these are all the different save files which we have transferred from our Switch. Apart from the fact that the fonts are not currently rendering, all of these menus are still fully functional. Let's just load our game save and see what it's like when we actually load into game. And there we go, you can now see that the in-game UI and music is perfectly working. Not only that, but you can actually fully move around using all different ranges of motions. As you can hear, you are able to jump and you can slightly hear my footsteps in the background as I jump and move around the area. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video, due to unimplemented functions, no 3D is currently rendered in-game. But if you've been watching my videos and coverage of Ryu Jinx Emulator for the past month or so, it is only a matter of time before this game is actually rendering 3D. So not only does the in-game UI, sound and movement correctly work, the in-game map screen is also fully functional. So while practically nothing is 100% rendered correctly, it is still absolutely awesome to see this emulator progressing as much as it is in as short a space of time as it already has. So if you haven't already, I would highly advise that all of you guys go over and support these guys over on their Patreon. You can find a link to that down in the description of this video. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, if you want to help support the channel you can do so by heading on over to the BSOD Gaming Patreon and pledging to support the channel, a link for that will also be in the description and as always subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.